Okay, it's time to continue on with some more of Mass Effect. Last time, I got Garrus and Rex on my team, and now we are going after this. Oh, no, wait. Let's go this again. This again. So I think we're gonna skip through this. Part. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometime. Dr. Michelle. No, I'm okay. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Does this have We're gonna skip through this part here because I took care of this. Uh... She Where is she now? Not anymore. Feast no. betrayed. Gregorian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarry? I'm not sure. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I think I'm this I with... missed. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him I away? couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but Welcome I Welcome aboard, Garrison. You know, we aren't the only ones yeah, going Yeah, we heard about it. A Krogan might come in handy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. Move out. So I have to have Garrus with me. So I need to have Garrus. This person, now we gotta go pay Rex a visit again. He's at the academy. See, so yeah, I'm gonna skip ahead through all this. So, so yeah, we missed a few. Uh... Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument. Looks editor. like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just. We're it's skipping through all this, you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't. It's kind of what you get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those hand. How do you like working here? On this yep, yep, whatever, yep. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flocks. I took care of this last stream, so. Commander. What do you know about just them? some? But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? Do you know a C-Sec officer? Uh, drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they. Suspect. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. I know there's two. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted... Yeah, we're skipping this, because I don't need to go through this again. There's Rex, he's all the way over there. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Oh, this Stay we can't skip. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill this. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Although one but plus side I see to this team. is that, uh, I get to pick Let's different go. audio uh, dialogue. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Plus we're gonna need Rex as well. So we're gonna have to take Rex and Garrus. We're gonna need this. Okay, so we're back to here. Um, there's actually a couple things I want to take care of while I'm here. Oh yeah, scanners. The scan the keepers. Okay, there's one here. Talk to the officer here. One sec, looking you up. Never got a chance to do this. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How do you know who I am? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, 
Will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. I definitely want that for sure. Although I'm still trying to figure out exactly where this is all going to come into play. Perhaps at some point. Perhaps at some point I'll get my answer, but not right now. I think that, yeah, there's one in the docking bay. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia. Yeah, skip this. We already know about her. I know there's one here. There he is. So now. I think we're still missing two. Yeah, we're still missing two, and I think there's still one more here. Of course, finding the last one's gonna be a bit of a challenge. But at least I know. In entertainment but at least it's news, nice to know there's a scene keep track of what you have and haven't found. Direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hamlet with the Elcor. I mean, I would love to see that. To be or not to be, that is the question. Okay, Charlie, let me get this straight. Your business partner, sure, he's threatened you. Well, no, not exactly, but he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Then I've got other work to do. But I... But nothing. Don't bother me unless you're Come willing to give minute. me details. Interrogation rooms. Oh, there's one more keeper up there. Okay. Great. Let's take a look at this tracking terminal. Okay, got another one. You know, it's interesting that I'm finding all this stuff here without uh, too much trouble. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, I gotta level up my characters. That's right. Can't forget. So there's one more, uh, so there's one more, uh, tracker to find, and then that'll take care of everything. And the, and the keepers are finished. I'm gonna talk to this person, Jaleed. Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? 
Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban. That's the guy who wanted us to scam the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck! Yeah, he is the dude who wants me to scan all these keepers. Well, I have one more keeper to scan. If I can find it. Well, I wish myself the very best. Um... I think I might have missed him somewhere. Let's see if I got a map. Yeah, I think I went to traffic control already. Let's go back to the lower wards. Mm, oh. Never easy to find these things. Maybe this way to the Presidium. I'm surprised that you're willing to kill your own Rex. Aren't the Krogan just a few generations away from extinction? You don't get it. For all your talk of honor and pride, the Turians never had to test their principles in a real struggle. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. Okay, so we're back up here. So unless it is actually back in the wards, let me take a look somewhere I'm at. I'm over here. Actually, since I am here, I could go back to the uh, consort chambers. I might as well take care of a few things while I'm here, anyways. Because why not? And I'd get to her place. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. 
This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Cheira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. All right, so we are, uh, let's see here. I can go back over here and take care of this. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, Dismayed. Anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human. If you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Apologetic. Do not listen to my bolus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Form up! Now let's go. Alright, so we have to go back to the wards now. Or should I go to the, back to the academy? Because I think I got everything else done here. So we're here. Not this one I got. Um, let's see here. Let's go 
go down to the lower market and see if I miss anything here. Oh, but there is something here. Okay, I'm here anyway, so... Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? Just tell me everything you know. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine... a tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. I'm almost done with this quest anyways. For me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Right there, don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer.
here. Right, here we go again. Wait, Garrus. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to... Yeah, I never like fist anyway. Would have been quicker to Shooting see. people isn't always the answer. And we don't get parry on bonuses either. Now right, let's try this again. Surrender. Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian.
we gotta take a longer route. Not like I got much of a choice. Alright, we made it. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Oh, Where's Tally? Fitz? There she is. They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. trust him were you hurt in the fight i know how to look after myself not that i don't appreciate the help who are you my name's shepherd i'm looking for evidence to prove saren's a traitor then i have a chance to repay you for saving my life but not here we need to go somewhere safe we could take her to the human embassy your ambassador will want to see this anyway You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. 
and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. I already established you that. You saw me in Idiot. the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Right, so I think we're gonna need her for this quest. All right, so we have to return to the tower. Okay, so I could go back to the wards and deliver her that information. And it's very possible that I might miss a scanner there too. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosca. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Oof, boy, everyone's been dragging me in different directions here. It's like, okay, I need help with this. I need help with this. I need your help with that. Like, come on, people. Let's get to the point already. My people are wanderers, not military leaders. All this fighting seems strange. It must be more familiar for you, Chief Williams. Uh, trying to take down a rogue specter and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. scanner here. When I first arrived in the Citadel, I spent nearly three hours being questioned by the officers here before they would let me enter the wards. Oh, there is something up here. All right. Oh, yes, this person. We're here anyway, so... Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. 
I'm scanning the keepers for Shorban, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorban can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Oh, while I'm here anyways, I might as well go ahead and, uh... Might as well go ahead and get her leveled up. So I got a few points to spare, so... Yeah, I definitely want that for sure. towards our electronics. Alright, so that takes care of that, so I guess their little dispute is resolved, for now. There. Reports are circulating that Alliance Ambassador Udina has accused a specter of orchestrating the attack on Eden Prime. Udina reportedly based his accusation upon eyewitness accounts of the scene, but lacked the evidence to demand further investigation. When asked to comment, a council spokesperson would only state that the investigation of the attacks upon Eden Prime was currently ongoing. Thank you. 
There's the last keeper. Right. I knew coming back here was a wise decision. Actually, I'm here anyway, so... Well, I am here, so I have to give that reporter her evidence. But first, I'm gonna take a look at the view of Nebula. what she wants. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Ain't you a charmer, Shepard? Ain't you a charmer? All right. So, with the Volus. Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left too. Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. I assume CSEC is protecting her? I can't watch her all the time. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> There was a oh, there was a keeper over here too. Someone rigged this machine to funnel credits their way. I'll run a trace. Oh, since this is kind of like blackjack.
must pay it out. credits, but that's okay. Hey, good to see enough human in here. All right, so that takes care of that. You know, now that I think about it, um, You know, now that I think about it here, I gotta check one thing real fast here. Because I don't want to spend, uh... Because I want to buy the permit. specifically say where but uh anyways let's let's keep going oh i gotta go back up that's right I gotta get out of here because yeah, this one's the most time consuming quest even though it only costs 150 supplies for your return to the colonies show me what you've got never mind best place on this ward to buy upgrades okay, here we have to go back to a uh... Let's go back to the Presidium. Um, let's go back to the Citadel. We have arrived at the Citadel Tower. Not quite ready yet. That poor scanner dude's like, or the keeper's like, kill me.
Any progress with that Hanar? Sorry, I'll let you know if I come up with something. I don't care what the something is, as long as it rids me of the Hanar. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not oh. possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Well, I guess that takes care of that. All right. So what next? So where to next? Well, I am here anyways, and I suppose I could go to the Embassy Lounge. I'll take care of that. Yeah, why not? After all, the more of this stuff I can get done, the better off I'll be in the late run. Goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nirali Batia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do. But holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Soldiers shouldn't have to worry about what their own government is going to do to their bodies. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Well, sometimes you gotta be a little, uh... Well, sometimes you gotta a little, uh... Show a little backbone. Now, oh, where is he at? Right over there. Perfect. Mr. Batia is gonna be extremely happy to hear this.
Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Samesh, I don't know if this helps, but your wife, Nirali, loved you very much. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know, Miss Williams, but thank you. It's nice to hear it again. And we gotta level up, so nice. Okay, this time I only have four points around. Now we're making some progress. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I love making progress. All right, anyways. Oh. One of the wards. Let's go to Kor's Den. Sure, save me the walking. I think there is a quest here. Wait, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Yep. It's over there. you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Charming girl. I never did nothing to you, damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. That was odd. What was he trying to tell us? I guess we'd better go find out. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we have to go to the academy again. But like I said before, at least doing all these side quests will help me in the long run. Let me see if he's got any new Hello there. Stack. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I don't think buying it would be worth it. Oh, 
Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good. You know, I think for the sake of her, I'll just go and buy the striker two for for Tally. Has more damage, but has lower heat sink and slightly lower accuracy. Oh. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. In a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Alright, so where is he at? Watch your tone, Chellick. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were there to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. It's too dangerous. You need to find another way. It's not that simple, Shepard. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you were so concerned with her safety, Maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? It's part of the job. Now, are you gonna help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. This had better be worth it. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. 
Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. now. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. That looks right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Why were you tossed out of there? 
Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. You were cheating, though, weren't you? I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the Quasar. On the house. Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some Quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some Quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Goodbye. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. You don't sound that happy about it. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I gonna do now? You could put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. Oh, boo-hoo, suck it up. But there is this thing, though, here. Doran's access corridor. Hmm. So I'm at flux right now. Um... Corridor. Hmm. Hmm. It's presidium, but not right now. Let's go find out where this, uh, see where this signal is coming from. Thank you. 
signal's coming from the ward's corridor, and this is a corridor, so... Hmm. specifically say where though Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many Goodbye. Goods? Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. So now I'm in the market. What am I doing here? This one up as well. Okay, so I'm gonna take care of that. Because I, I don't want to waste time. That's where we're at. Well, there it is. It's all the way over there. 
Wait, wasn't I there before? Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if I can do this. Take it from here. That's what I want. Perfect. Oh, this route. Okay, now I'm starting to remember. Should have thought of that in the first place. Haven't been here in a while. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Financial district, huh? All right, well. So how do I get to the corridor from here? investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Oh. Okay, so I guess we're back here, so I guess we're going the wrong way the whole time. Back to Presidium then, I guess. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. forced us from our homeworld. Most Quarians believe we have paid properly for our mistake. Hopefully, having you with us fighting Saren will change people's minds. Alright, so now our next up, Financial District. Oh, this dude again. Oh, him. Where there was only darkness, the Enkindlers gave light. Uh, 
him again. How can I be of assistance to you today, Earth Clan? Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. I'm an expert in how all these accom... I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct... Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow... Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the Presidium. I guess it's not him directly we have to speak to. This is it. Let's see if we can find out where those stolen credits are being funneled. Probability of detection, 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a program or a VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. I'm just curious. Okay, so I guess he wasn't bluffing after all. this all over again. I'm not going to do this. Oh no, wait a minute. This time's going to go much faster. Is 
Is it common for human women to be front rank fighters, Chief Williams? I know that Salarian women do not serve in the military. It's becoming more common, but it took a long time to prove that ladies could handle an assault rifle or a shotgun. On the flotilla, we don't have the luxury of sexism. We need the best hands for every available job. Sounds nice, but I don't think I could get used to the uniform. Trace a new signal. It's strange. The Geth are attacking, and everyone around here is still worried about ordinary business. It is necessary, Chief Williams. Even if it comes to a full scale war, someone has to provide food to eat and a home to return to. This is it. Probability of or not. detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a program or Correct. a VR. However, if you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. There's no way you not can get If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. Where is your In all these Can't we resolve this? How can you see it? I am not. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure. What is the purpose of your self destruct device? I have no means of. But I will not die quietly. And I will not die alone. Who made you? A would be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him follow money. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before. If you're sentient, why are you still running if the I, I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. I'll bet that self-destruct You may attempt to decide. I will enjoy. takes care of that. Now our next stop, the Citadel Tower. That's our next stop.
not disturb the keepers. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. The 
It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. What's my first mission? We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Commander. So I wonder if I can level my character up or not. An artificial intelligence is a, a virtual intel. I guess I got a few more points. Next stop is the Academy. Is there a fast transit here? Yes, there is. Good. All right, where to next? Docking Bay, okay. Oh, so that's not too far off. In other news, ExoGenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. What kind of leads do we have? 
Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing, but you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colony. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back, Nash. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? 
Who do you think the Council is going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. So, there's our ship. Let's head in. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander, 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Our enemy knows we're coming. Wherever he searches for the Conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. The captain will be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Okay. So, we got pretty much everything taken care of. Alright, I think that's going to do it for this session. Um, thank you everyone for watching, and I will see everybody next time.